I quit. I decided to quit. To quit nomad life, to quit moving around, to quit packing my suitcase up. It's been three years that I have been living on the road and I'm so tired. So the trick to not get charged for overweight luggage, because I always have issues with my luggage because I carry such heavy things, you know, all my foods, all my supplements, all my cosmetics and, um, and also my art supplies and everything. So that alone is around 30 kilo already. Um, so last time I was six kilo overweight six kilo in total for my two luggages and she was like i gotta charge you for that <laughs> and i looked at her <laughs> and in my mind i always said okay you know what I'm, I'm gonna charge but i looked at her in the most innocent puppy way that is a way to go you know you gotta look at them very innocently very oh my god you know <laughs> and then i looked at her and i was like do you really want me to un pack my luggage <laughs> they don't want you to do that so she looked at me <laughs> then because i had a lot of hand luggage as well she was like if you give up your hand luggage your carry-on 
then it will balance out the overweight kg from your other luggage and then you're good then you can go so if you're in that position next time do exactly that because i swear to you i never got charged for overweight luggage and i was overweight a lot so you know distribution begins because this one is so full now I have to move around here try to put more in here because here I still have like 4 kg left sadly I did not progress on that at all all I managed to do not even finish up the road that is very very sad but that's what it is sometimes I'm almost all packed up. It's 10 p.m. now. I gotta get up at 3 a.m. tomorrow. Something like that. And I've all packed two luggages already downstairs. I'm ready to go. Martin. It's literally been a month. Almost. Almost a month. I've been super busy. I've been meaning to film this video because I wanted to talk about something um, that I think is not talked about enough. I'm about to head to work and uh, a lot has happened. So let me get into it. But my coffee. My coffee is ready. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> so, I quit. I decided to quit. To quit nomad life, to quit moving around, to quit packing my suitcase up every three months, to switch places, to leave people behind, to meet new people to adapt to new environments, search for new houses, search for new... It's been three years that I have been living on the road, that I have not had a place to live in, to come back to, right? And I'm so tired. I so had enough. Like the last time I went to Germany, I didn't even want to pack my stuff anymore. And shortly before that, in November, I made the decision. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to stay. So officially now moved to St. Martin permanently. Well, for the foreseeable future, let's say. <laughs> stay here, pursue my art career and then see where it takes me. Really put, giving it my all, putting it all my effort um, and stop this constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It is mentally draining and exhausting. It is, Let's, it is, I cannot, I cannot even deny it. It was fun, but it's enough. It literally is enough, cheers. 
I'm also thinking about what kind of content I'm going to create, of course, more art. I've been working on a new mural project. I really enjoyed painting that mural. It's really me and it is uh, what I want to be hired for. I will continue my art, but I've been very quiet on Instagram with posting lately because I had literally zero time to paint my my own art. But I set up my new apartment space here. I bought this corner. These were basically the first things I bought to make it feel like me. Right. Um, and my golden cactus. I don't know what I have with this golden cactus, but I literally love it. <laughs> it's the first time in years. And when I say yes, I mean yes. Because even before those three years, I knew the places I were living in were not permanently. So I had shared apartments. Um, so I didn't really bother to buy anything um, for an apartment in probably five, six, seven years ever. So this is my first own space. It's my, yeah, it's my own. It's my own. I can decorate it the way I want it. It's rented, of course. And I'm very excited for the opportunities that the Martin provides for me. Meeting people, creating new art, creating new projects. I've been in contact with a lot of people about creating a lot of stuff, so that is very exciting. There's a shift in content. There's not so much traveling coming here anymore. I will post again a lot about body positivity and art, dive deeper into that. I will explore the island from time to time. Of course, you will see parts of the island. But as I am working a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot, <laughs> there's just a lot of what I do, you know. And um, of course, the messaging is always important to me. So that will keep going. I look tired. I am tired. I have a new schedule. Maybe I start, should start talking about those things as well. Um, what it means think that that i will talk about it what does it mean when you move abroad to a new country to a new culture to an island i've never lived really in a small place like this building a business here that is not so much online because here on the island things don't work really online it things work in person so what businesses I will build here on the island and how we will move up forward. And I am very excited about that. I'm very excited to make this announcement. I hope you enjoyed my latest travel videos because I posted a lot. I had a whole Switzerland series when I was with, visiting one of my best friends in Switzerland. That was very exciting. Let's just do this. I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm gonna have breakfast. I wish you a lovely day. Thank you for coming by and visiting.